Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, an update on the planted angelfish tank. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage and stand by. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Before I uh, get out of the way and stop distracting you from looking at this with this deliciousness, I just wanna say that uh, some of the plants that I have in this tank, the newer plants were donated to me from uh, aquarium co-op as you know i am a brand ambassador for aquarium co-op as well as the stingray light that i'll be talking about the new light on top in addition i did also receive some donations from keith over at kge aquatics for this tank coincidentally at the same time so i'm going to be talking about those as well i just want to get that out of the way so everybody is aware so guys this tank if you're not familiar is a 55 gallon uh tank it's in my it's in on a wall between the kitchen and family room in my home uh, we look at it as a family pretty much every day uh, my kids love it my wife likes to look at it you know I I like it obviously and uh, I always struggle with plants and I've been trying to get them to grow and actually look nice and not just you know throw plants in a tank but sort of scape in my own way if you will so here's here's what we got uh the tank like i said 55 gallon it's uh filtered by two pretty large sponge filters and uh i had the marine land uh pro 450 on it which i've since thrown away because just just not really happy with it and um i now just have a aqua clear uh, 70 on it, which I love. Uh, it's got three sponges in it just for mechanical filtration. Now on a side note, those sponges, besides being uh, mechanical filtration, they'll also uh, house quite a bit of biological filtration as well. So it's a win-win, right? A um, couple of things with, the, with this tank. I fertilize with the Easy Green line of products, the uh, uh, root tabs as well as the you know, the liquid fertilizer. And I use Fritz Complete as my water conditioner for this tank as well. Uh, currently, and the reason I'm looking over here is because the food's over here. Currently I feed North Finn uh, kelp wafers for Liam the Lemon Pleco. And uh, some of the Corys like to eat it as well. And I'm feeding uh, Cobalt Spirulina food as well as uh, Ocean Nutrition Community Flake. And I do have some um, North Finn community pellets, the half mil and one mil size. And I like those because they drop to the bottom, most of them do, and then the core is just, you know, and yes, love it. Anyway, all right, folks, so should we look at the tank and talk about some plants? Now, before you guys get excited about me talking about plants, I don't know anything about plants, so I'm gonna be guessing probably. Anywho, here we go. All right, fishy folks, here's the tank. Uh, it's got a poop ton of quarries in it. All different kinds. You guys know the kinds. I don't. I don't know what they're called. Uh, we have quite a few angels. That's what my wife likes. So that's what we have so far. Not really so far. A lot of them are are quite old in the tank. Few years old. There's a uh, Bulgarian green angel that I got from Mike at Mike's Bulgarian Green. I'll put a link down below. He's a high quality breeder of angel and angels, and he specializes in these Bulgarian greens. There's just a black angel and uh, a gold. It looks really nice. There's a marble back there, but uh, this is a funny story. There's a platy in this tank, one lonely platy. And you guys may remember I had uh, in my big pond outside, the blow up pond that had like a thousand guppies in it. Uh, you guys were like, look, there's a platy. And there was, uh, it came from a bunch of mutts that somebody gave me. I think Joe, my friend Joel gave me. And uh, there he is, that's him. There's also a couple of mollies, black mollies in here, also from Joel, uh, that I was using to help with algae control. And of course these, uh, I don't know if they're Siamese or algae, Chinese algae eaters, I think they're Siamese. Um, <clears throat> you know, just to help with some of the algae. I still have some back there that I really can't get rid of. And over there, I just need to get a scraper in there and I just haven't done it so far, but. All right, so let's talk about some of the plants. Now I'm gonna cheat and uh, look at my phone because I have some some cheaters here, but uh, that big tall one in the back, that one, and then there's one here in the middle, and then there's one over there as well. Those are Aponagetan Olvasius, I think is how you say it. They were bulbs I got from uh, Keith at KG Aquatic and uh, 
I mean, they just exploded. And the reason I like this one in the corner is it kind of blocks the, the sponge filter, which is what I was going for. So the only thing I have to be careful is uh, if something happens and it waves down, it could get caught on the intake of the, of the hang on back filter, but you know, whatever. Um, so I really like those. They grow really fast. Um, I don't remember where I got this sword from. This sword, I don't remember. Uh, this right here is a um, Easy Rock, I think it's called, from Aquarium Co-op. And uh, the reason I like it is for guys like me, you get one of those little potted plants back there, and you just drop it in, and boom, it looks like it's supposed to be there, and it's easy, and there you go. Um, this is an Anubis that I got from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, just recently, they are very slow growers, very hardy though, so really good for me as far as being hardy. Um, let's see what else we have here, folks. <sighs> Java Fern, I think. Don't know, I've had it for a while, don't know where I got it. Um, of course, you guys who are really into the plants know way more than I do. I don't, I don't really know plants. I tell you that all the time, but nobody listens to me. And yet I get asked questions all the time about plants. Um, this is a new one right here. It's Water Sprite. Uh, it's grown quite a bit since I got it. Um, it was about half that size. <clears throat> Again, for, for a fertilizer, I use the Easy Green line. I do also have Thrive, uh, and I go through, like, I'll go through a bottle of Easy Green, then I go through Thrive, then Easy Green. Um, I haven't noticed much of a difference, to be blatantly honest. So, uh, look, there's Liam, the lemon pleco back there. He's getting quite big. Um... Yeah, so that's that's that does it for you know my planted tank. I don't really talk much about it because I don't really know much about it, and you know it takes a while for changes. But I think uh, I think it looks pretty good so far, especially for a guy without a green thumb, if you know what I'm saying. I have a green thumb for vegetables and herbs and stuff, but uh, but not for for aquatic plants. So hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments below if you think I should make any changes. And uh, what those changes are, you might be asking yourself, why does she have two heaters? I, I got, so I was given that that heater, and that's what I'm using now, and I just haven't taken that one out yet because I'm lazy. So that's it. All right, guys, see ya. Um, now, as a side note, those sponges will also be uh, beneficial bacteria. Beneficial. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today an update on the angelfish planted tank. Planted angelfish, planted angelfish tank. We're gonna do that again. <laughs>